Good morning, everybody. For some odd reason, when I get onto my computer, my head is so crooked or crooked. Anyways, yes, if you read the caption right, I will be doing a, uh, it's not even a tutorial. I'm going to be trying out some different ways to spare my foundation because for one, the Beauty Blender, if you've been watching my videos from Dollar Tree, sucks, but it sucks horribly, but right now I don't have, my head is so crooked on here. Right now, I don't have on any, um, any foundation in anything. I do have on a little bit of a tint on my eye, and I darken my eyebrow just a little bit. That's usual. And then I moisturize my face with this um, coconut oil that I got from Aldi. It's pretty good. Dang, they're gone. And I also use this as well, hot six oil that my baby when they got us again. Well, I got the new one in the back. And then at the end, you see my hair, the light, the color, like it's changing. I think that's, anyways, my hair is going a little bit. But I'm about to go ahead and show you everything I'm using today to uh, spread my foundation with cotton balls. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to build with cotton balls. This is what I have. Cotton balls. And then I have these two same liquid makeup things from LA Colors from uh, Dollar Tree. Everything I have is from Dollar Tree. Like I said, I'm trying to learn how to do makeup. How to learn how to apply makeup to my own face with uh, the cheap stuff so that when I'm ready to transition to the this stuff, I don't know I will be wasting my stuff. So I have these two colors. They neither one of them are like my my tone. This one is no no. This one is kind of kind of really close, but then there are some lighter areas. So I mix them together. I pump more of this one. So I'm gonna pump it about four times and then take this little darker color and do it like maybe two, two or three times. And then I'm just gonna mix it with the end of this little brush. See what I have with two different colors there. Not, I'm not going to mix it like crazy, but definitely going to get some of the colors in there. Okay, and then, all right, so here comes the moment of truth. I did also, I seen one of those little posts with a sock. I'm scared to do it because I don't know if it's going to look right. So maybe I'll just try to do my forehead with the sock, and if it doesn't work, I can always wipe it off. All right, so I'm going to take my cotton ball, and it does have those little bitty, uh, I don't know, yep, little straggler pieces. You can see it. So I'm just going to roll the cotton ball in my hand a little bit just to get everything back nice and round. I'm going to dip it and begin applying it to my face. If I look over to uh, this side, it's because I'm looking in the actual mirror so I can see what I'm doing exactly. But I just stick to the computer. I know it is a little bit light and washed out because of the, uh, the lighting from outside. So just bear with me. I have a, a full set of here, which I got from uh, from the dollar. And yeah, I am right now just looking in it because I need to see better because I can't see that great on my camera. So right now what I'm doing is getting, getting it all over my face first. And I'm staying away from my forehead because I said I was going to, um, I said I was going to put it with the sock and see how that works for me. All right, and from this moment on, like I said, I don't try to get my nose as much because it just it doesn't look right. And right now it does look a little white, like really, really light, but I'm gonna keep going with the same one. I'm just trying to get it everywhere, all over my face. And I'm gonna keep blotching it in until it doesn't look so blotchy and wrong <laughs> so as, as of right now I would say that it's doing pretty well and it's giving me a lot of coverage and you have to also be careful with the little straggler pieces you just you want to pull them off if you can and then like keep turning keep turning the uh, the cotton ball so that they're not still coming off on your body on your face I mean excuse me and just keep on pressing it in 
And oh my goodness, <laughs> it's giving me some coverage, y'all. So, so far, it's doing okay. I wouldn't write it off just yet. I gotta see what is gonna happen. Okay, so with those few little pieces, there's little pieces that come off the cotton ball. So that's, that's a mark off for me. Okay, and I've noticed that you can't use the white part after because it'll stick to the foundation. So yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that one. And the stuff does get on your hands. So make sure you get rid of it, but yeah. So this is what it looks like. Let me see if I got any more cotton on my face. All right, and actually, I'm not mad at it. I still look really, really light, so it's not, it's not taking, it's not giving me as much coverage, and I am a really light person, and the foundation that I do have on, it was a pretty light coat, I guess, so I can go back over it if I want to, once it does settle in a little bit, but so far, oh my god, I'm so washed out. But yeah, okay, so now I'm going to try to do it on my forehead. Actually, I'm going to go back in with the darker one to see, you know, just, just it's not, I'm not going to keep it on because it's way too dark and I don't need a tan because I don't need a tan. But I'm going to go back in with it, with the cotton ball too, just so you guys can see this, how it uh, dries up and what it looks like. But right now I'm going to try the sock on my forehead, just using two little drops and then one of the brown, one of the darker one. I'm going to mix it up again on my hand. And with this one, I heard that you, from the video that I watched, I can't even remember the girl's name. I heard that you just, you don't put it on the sock, per se. You just put it on your forehead. And I got, obviously I put too much. So, I'm still going to put it on the sock. Because, alright. Now my sock is so huge right now. Let me see. Okay, so yeah. And I want to get it up in my hairline because I always forget that. And actually, guys... I don't know if you guys can see because it's so like oh no I dropped my pieces. All right, so yeah, um, with the sock, I'm not gonna wrap it off. I'm not gonna wrap it off. I'm not. I'm not even mad at it. It actually it does the same thing. So I think I just figured out something, guys. You can use your cotton balls or you can freaking use a sock, and they. It's so disgusting though. It just ugh. so as long as you're using your sock and it's clean and using it on your face, you are perfectly fine. So yeah, I can't tell the difference now in my face. I'm actually gonna go ahead and go down to the bottom of my face uh, down here to get it to get some more coverage on my on my throat. My lips are so big since I got pregnant, y'all. Okay, so yeah, I'm actually not mad at this. I'm looking at the mirror again over here, guys. I'll be right back to you. So, yeah. I'm not mad because I don't have to use a beauty blender because they are a little bit pricey. I mean, it's not like crazy money, but it is a little bit pricey, especially when you don't want to buy things and then ruin them because you don't know what the heck you're doing yet. So, that's my motto. If, if you don't know how to do it, get the knockoff until you can afford the real thing because... Why waste it when you don't have to? I'm actually going to get a, a view on my phone because my phone will give you better, to let you guys see the better coverage. So I'm going to take a video of myself on my phone so you guys can see. So, and I'm also darker on my phone, which is weird, but it is extremely covered. Like I have a layer of foundation on. I, my, my, I don't get it on my nose and you see it's not as much coverage so I'm going to go back in oh there's a little cotton I'm going to go back in and um, get this area because it's not that dark so I'm going to actually use the sock method because I did like it and then I have this uh, same concealer in the in the same color excuse me I gotta pick them up I dropped them on the floor <sighs> okay I have the same there sorry 
they're the same color so I'm just gonna go in in this area right here with this concealer and just put it there and I'm gonna see if I can get some coverage again I'm at the mirror you come I'm over here that's what I'm doing all right and I'm gonna kind of ball it up a little bit more a little tighter I'm actually gonna use the mirror for this because I don't want to mess it up and I'm gonna dab at it so with the sock it's definitely difficult to get in there definitely difficult so that's one of those I guess the cons of it but for the most part it did give me some a little bit of coverage up under my eyes I don't even know if you guys can tell but it definitely did so I'm satisfied with it let me just go over my face and see if I have any cotton stragglers on my face I do okay so yeah the cotton stragglers you cannot deal with them that will be the issue using the cotton ball but if you take your little time and get them off I swear this finish is like almost flawless and for me not being a big makeup wear I don't need that coverage I like to look like I'm not wearing that much makeup because I don't wear makeup and I never wore makeup so I like this and outside of my computer the way it looks right now with the natural lighting and stuff it doesn't look as glamorous but girl when I'm off of this when I'm off of this computer looking in real life I got this little tan glow going on mm -hmm. all right so okay so yeah, now that's done I can move on to lighten under my eyes let's give that a shot and see how it works because I don't do that section because I'm not that's heavy. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and get through with the cotton ball. And I'm going to make it really small. And I'm going to actually put the product on there. There's one little dab. All right. And I'm going to use my mirror for this because I can't, I can't, just, I can't gauge on here. All right. So yeah, I'm going to come up here in the top of my corners, come back down. And see to it that I get it in all the places that I want it to go. Alright, so yeah, it's definitely doing the pilly thing. So I don't know how much of a cotton ball user I'll be. But so far, it's, I mean, it's okay. So I'm going to, right now, I'm going to see if I can go in with the sock. And, um. And because it's so it's leaving so much cotton on my face that I, I just I don't like it. But the sock the sock helps, so I can go in with the sock one. And I, I think I'm gonna try a different method of putting it on there because cotton ball didn't work on that on this part on the on the highlighting of my face. I'm gonna try. No, it's not. I don't know what it's called, but <laughs> but I'm gonna use the sock for this because the cotton ball apparently doesn't agree with my methods, my methods of madness. But the sock kind of sort of does. So, and then again, I also don't need that much under here because I'm also gonna put my pressed pressed powder down here, so it won't really matter. But I mean, as of, for now, it's okay. I don't have any. Uh, dark circles as of lately i'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit up here i am wonder woman Lovely. and i'm gonna put a little down my nose and i'm gonna call it a day and i'm also gonna go back in because i'm gonna look on the computer this house you guys can see what i'm doing and i'm just gonna use my sock Blend it out into these little circles. Do basically like a little heart. Just to get it in there. 
And I don't know if you guys, and I am, it is like a more of a packed, because this is, it's, it's a newer, older sock. I don't know how to explain that better. But yeah, it's a newer, older sock. And then I'm also going to just check in my mirror to see, to see if I got it all right. And yeah, okay. So it is blended in, and I, and I told you guys, I love to try to avoid this area and my nose, because I don't have anything on my nose. I don't, anything right here, I don't, because mm -mm, it starts to flake away. And in these areas, I try to keep it as light as possible, because I can't, it'll just start looking all crazy and stuff. All right, so for the next part, I'm going to go ahead and, all right, I was like, I got a yellow face. I'm going to try to do my rendition of a contour with this contour brush. Even though I suck at it, I'm gonna give it a go. These are the two colors that I'm, I'm gonna actually just use this one, cause this one is this one is fairly dark for me. I'm gonna go in with this one, and I'm gonna try to do my rendition, cause I don't really know anybody else's, because I don't have anybody to teach me how to do this stuff. So, you see it's brown. I'm gonna give it a go, and I, I'm gonna actually put it in my mirror. Okay, so I believe, and you guys can see it on this side, so I'm going to take it from this part of my ear and like this. And like I said, eventually when you guys start commenting on my videos and stuff, you guys can tell me if I'm doing it wrong or not. Because honestly, I have no idea, none whatsoever, if I'm doing this right or wrong. Now that could be way too dark. Or I could be doing it right because Jonay does not know. I have no idea. So I'm going to the other side, giving myself some color. I think I put too much right there. I'm going to go ahead and go around my hairline. And it also might be a little dark, actually. How do you gauge if you have, if your contour is way too dark or what? How do you, how do people know? Because honestly, I feel like this is so dark. Like there's no way that I would ever do this to myself intentionally. I mean, it does give your face a little bit of color, you know, but I don't know. Either way, I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of it. Not a, not at all. All right, so I'm done with that contour. I'm just gonna wipe this little brush off and uh, go in with some pressed powder actually, so I can get it all over my face. And then I'm just gonna this is a pressed powder, so it's super light. So I'm gonna put that on my uh, right here, right here, right here, and I didn't even put anything right here because I usually sweat right there, which I'm not sweating today because. Me. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit right there. I know you guys can barely see it, and that's okay with me because it's just the powder. Usually, people put that white powder. It's so much. Right, and then I'm gonna throw some right there, and you guys can see that it is on there. And I'm also gonna use it, use this to, you know, kind of blend my, blend it out some because I don't like the way that it looks on me. But yeah, I'm gonna just go in and blend it on out because I can't deal with crazy contour. All right, so, so far, I'm okay with the contour, and you guys know I'm not a makeup person, so I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time, but that is my makeup. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fix my eyes. I have this. I don't even know the name of it anymore. I've had it for so long. No, actually, I'm going to. This is usually what I use for my um, under eye. What is on my face? I don't even know. This is what I use for my um, 
，一直要一直冲嘛。And then I like, I like to hit my mother sometimes. Don't judge my wife, AR, because they're gonna be great. <laughs> Let them be great. All right, so yeah, put these on my lips like so, and then I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do my. Okay, it has no name. I believe it's really old. It's like LA colors, and it's like this little felt kind of thing. And I just do my eyebrows with it. I'm not, not my eyebrows. Well. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use the mirror for this. Some more cotton. All right, guys. So I don't know how full proof the cotton is, but I can vouch for this off. <laughs> Okay, I gotta turn. Cause I can't hold the mirror. I'm so pregnant, y'all. I just want to be unpregnant. I don't think nobody understands my struggle. Being pregnant is it's a it's a beautiful beautiful thing. Don't get me wrong, but it still becomes a pain in the butt. I swear. After the first six months, you really just want the pregnancy to be over with. And I'm also glad that I do have YouTube, you know, to go to, because if I didn't, I don't know what the heck I would do. I'm giving myself another plane of another plane wing, and look at this, my tongue that's so gross. And when I say plane, I mean like airplane. I always seem to lick my brushes. I don't know if anybody else does that little nasty stuff, but I'm definitely a licker. Okay, that's going to have to be good enough. That is so plain wingy. I'm going to have to leave it and just call it a day until I put on some uh, mascara because... I need to piss myself off, y'all. And as y'all know, when I piss myself off, I need to take out every piece of makeup that I need to put on. And this other other wing, y'all, is when y'all see it, it's gonna look so bad. It's like some days this mascara wants to work. And others, it's just like, no, ma'am. Not today. Mm -mm. But that's okay. Because I'm going to get some new stuff. Real soon, mascara. And then what you going to do? What are you going to do? What? What is it? What could you like to do? No. All right. So what I'm doing right now is just going over to see where I have any cotton. Because... My eyeliner is done. It's done. It's so done. Like literally, like done. Like I can't. I shouldn't do that. Blow my brush out so that I can wipe this powder off. And now my top lip is getting hot, as always. All right. So I got the powder off. I'm just gonna go back over my face. Just so I, I cannot have that glossy look. Alright. As far as my mascara goes, I do use this. It's called Cheater Balm. But the balm called Cheater. And mascara cotton. And I just start under. And pull it out, and I have little bitty eyelashes, and I don't have any hair glue. Well, so it's dropped everything there. And I don't have any hair glue, so I can't put any eyelashes on, which is fine because I'm, I'm not going anywhere special. And I'll just be in the house today for the most part doing my company MCA, which you know, guys, everybody said that that's a scam. And for, I had a friend that was doing MCA, and 
I asked her last year what she what she does and what she told me I was like, oh, she wants me to pay forty dollars to start something up. It's ridiculous. So I told her no because I thought it was a scam. As anybody would, like, why would I have to pay to make money? And what I found out this year when I did sign up because because being at home board is not it is not popping. And I couldn't I wasn't contributing, I'm feeling in my eyebrow right now. I wasn't contributing to the household since I went on my well since I'm done working, period. And I wasn't contributing to my baby and it started getting stressful for him and things like that. And I don't know, I just it it was it was hard. So I went on and I asked her this year, like, okay, so are you still doing the same thing? How's it working for you? And things like that. And she was just like, I'm still doing the exact same thing. And she's making so much money from it. Excuse me. Excuse me. And I'm just like, okay, well, how do I sign up now? Because this little $40, if it can make me as much money as it's making you, why not pay this little $40? So she told me what the $40 was for was for this time around. Because I didn't ask her last time. I was like, okay, $40. Well, never mind. Hell, I'm not going to pay. But for this time, I was like... Okay, I'll pay the $40. What else I got to do? She was like, you're only paying for the benefits to become a member of the program. You have to be a member to um, refer other people to come and buy things. To come and, what am I talking about? You have to be a member to be able to refer people to come and work for MCA or to get the benefits of MCA. And once you do sign up, you don't have to keep the benefits. The $40 is just for the first and the last month's payment. If you want to keep them, which I'm keeping them because, y'all... They give you roadside assistance. They come and tow your car for you if you ever in a bind. They bring you gas if you run out of gas. They help you um, open your car door if you're locked out. And it's all $20 a month. It's so much more. I'm not even hitting, hitting anything. They can get you out of jail if you get into a car crash and you hurt someone. It's so much. It's so many benefits to being a, part, being a member of the company and paying for your membership. It's $20 a month. So, I mean, it's, it's more than worth it, even just for the benefits. If you don't want to refer people, then get that $80 per referral. It's an amazing opportunity at the, at the end of the day. So I ended up uh, talking to her about it and asking her all these questions like, okay, did you think it was a scam? How did you feel about it? When did you start making money off of it? Off of it? And she was just like, um, well, I thought it was a scam. When I first started, my boyfriend was for it, and I wasn't. I was just like... I wait till you do it. She was. She said she'll just wait till he does it and see how it works for him. So he did it and he started making a lot of money off of it. And so she ended up joining in with him, and they both got their eighty dollars back because he paid forty, she paid forty. So it all it's just all returned back to them. Gotta look at this. This is ridiculous. My eye. So, anyways, they're doing it together now and. When I tell you that they're making so much money, she showed me all her statements, and I just feel stupid for not jumping on the bandwagon last year when I should have, when I needed help the most. So I wrote it off, like everybody else writes it off because they think it's a scam, and now I'm sitting here looking stupid. Well, not anymore because I'm doing pretty well in the program, but I was just saying I'm, I'm sitting here looking stupid, taking off of work or leaving work. And I have businesses, y'all. Don't get me wrong. I just finished my book. I just wrote it, took it over to some people to get it read, improve, read, and stuff like that. And I have avenues, but in the building phase of avenues, you need to make money. So this right here, this $80 per referral per person, it's the best thing that I could have ever done for myself, for my son. Y'all don't understand how much weave I'm about to buy. <laughs> it sounds so black of me, but the weave I'm going to buy. Lady, lady. Um, so much stuff I'm gonna get for my baby. The Christmas. Oh my god. I'm so happy that I joined MCA when I joined MCA because Christmas is about to be on and popping. It's gonna be a big old tree over there in that corner, and it's gonna be so many presents under it. And my baby is don't even he don't even know what's going on. Dominique is gonna get so much designer stuff because i my baby is a girl. He is a designer junkie. He wanted to be like the most popular person. He wants to have an image. And he raps and stuff. I've had some of his music in some of my videos on like our car rides and stuff like that or towards the end of the video. 
So he raps, and I love his music. And so I'm just definitely going to be investing my money back into him and into myself and into my baby, or our baby, excuse me. Because why would I not? But yeah, right now I'm just um, filling in the bottom. I'm going to go back over that with the uh, eyeliner just to get a little darker. So yeah, um, MCA has literally saved my life, y'all. And I couldn't be happier because my baby, Dominique, is happy. He's happy for me. He's supportive. He said he's going to do the same thing that she did, wait for me to make money off of it, and then he's going to join in with me and leave his job. And I'm perfectly fine with that because I don't want him working anyways. Because we're entrepreneurs, period. So he's doing a really great job with making sure our ends are meeting on his own. But now that he said the load is being taken off of him so much, he would love to, you know, come and do what I'm doing. So, I mean, why not? Like, there's no reason why he can't. And I don't mind working next to my honey bun. I don't know if y'all about y'all, but that's my best friend. And I would love for him to be beside me working instead of going and pumping someone else's clock or anything. I don't like that. I don't want him doing that kind of stuff. And I don't know if that's how you guys are. You want him to go away, but nope. I would mind be right here, right with me, making money together, killing everything and everybody because we can. So if you guys do want to know more information about what it is that I do or how to become a part of the program and make money like I make or like anybody else makes, comment below. And I will definitely, you know, I will definitely hook anybody up with the program. It's, it's that easy. Like, I want to see everybody shine. I want to see everybody happy. Why not? That's selfish of me to be like, oh, I'm making money. I'm not telling you guys my secrets unless you do this or that. Like, that's stupid. And I think people do that with MCA. Like, why not say what the company is? Why keep it a secret? Like, for what? It's not even worth it. But, yeah. So, anyways, I'm all off, all off topic. Um, but, yeah, this is what I was doing to my face. And I did just successfully do my makeup with Kylo and a sock. I did that. She did that. So right now I'm just gonna use this pencil. It's really old, old pencil to line my lips up. It's kind of like this peachish, peach-ish, peach-ish color. Um, it's really old. Color trend. It's actually it's from Avon, so it's very old. But yeah, it's this. It's upside down. And now I'm off the screen. Color trend, and it's by Avon. So yeah, I'm just gonna go over my lips. Actually, I have to do this on the computer. Let's go over my lips. It's so light and washed out. I can't. I'm like, what? Did y'all just see what I was doing right there? <laughs> I'm supposed to freak with that. Um, so I'm gonna have to use the mirror. I can't find my little one. But yeah. I got cotton on the lips, y'all. So yeah, if you don't mind, um, what am I trying to say? I'm gonna press powder for a matte finish. I saw this. I saw this on the video, y'all. Yeah. It worked. Okay. Sorry, I'm way off the camera again. But, like I said, I'm learning, y'all. I'm learning. Alright, so yeah, this is my little finished makeup. I do have a small contour. 
just really small. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and finish talking to you guys about what I did. And I'm going to actually pin my hair up. Okay, I did bring it on. All right, so yeah. All right, so um, if you guys don't mind the cotton, little cotton, extra cotton pieces coming out at you <laughs> with this hairstyle, I say go for it. Because the cotton balls, they, it's not like a, it's not a horrible thing. It, they just, it's just annoying, really. It's just really annoying. So, but to each his own, really. I keep saying really, that's my favorite thing to say since um, really. To each his own, really. Find a new word, Jonay, find a new word. So yeah, this is my little, what is this part that one? My face is so fat and real pregnant. All right, so yeah, sorry, y'all. That was my little slow mo video. So this, that's what I did. I used my little cotton balls. Actually, this is the cotton ball, music, and it came from Family Dollar. Hello. That's what I used, and I'm happy about it. And my face is fully covered. And as I said, I don't use that much makeup because I don't like that much makeup on my face. Um, let me know if you guys like the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, as always. Or if you like me and my channel and you want to know more about what I'm doing or go on this YouTube journey with me because I am new to YouTube, make sure you subscribe with me. Because I will be doing more of these or trying to figure out better ways to do it on a budget because I'm just starting out and I don't want to use all my good makeup on this face to ruin it. So, yeah. Kisses, everybody. I love you guys. See you all later.